Testing one, two. Hello, how you doing? What's up? Bonjour now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Jolly good day to you, sir. Woohoo! Yippee ki yay. The day I started in the industry was uh, opening day at Home Alone back in 1990, November. So I've been doing this for almost 20 years. My name's uh, Siegfried Zilliger, and I'm a projectionist. Been a uh, kind of lifelong projectionist ever since I was 16 years old. Right now, I'm guess what, 32, so uh, it's probably about 16 years now. Uh, we had Free Willy in the morning and uh, Jade at night, and we mixed up the reel. So halfway through the movie, um, we were showing Free Willy in the morning, I accidentally put in the wrong second reel. It was actually Jade, which is uh, NC, almost at NC-17. So it went, changed over, went on to this scene, and it was a scene where Linda Florentino was uh, gonna come out and she was gonna be all naked and everything like that. And uh, luckily I ran up to the projection booth just in the right amount of time to stop it. Uh, so uh, the kids in the audience, that was pretty much a, almost a sold out auditorium, didn't have to see that. And uh, I got the rest of Free Willy uh, out there uh, and going in just uh, like two minutes. They don't even want to call us projectionists. They just want to call us Usher Bees for Usher Booth. Their goal is to make an Usher um, be able to uh, push start, the, you know, just start the movie, to make it simpler. But still, it's a computer, it will have problems, and uh, you will need a, a, a tech person to, to, to fix the problems. But they just want a bunch of button pushes and put stuff on screen, but then that leads to quality control issues over time as far as I'm concerned. The operators are going away. Projectionists are, they're kind of a dying breed. You know, we're, we're the scourge of society. We're, we're, uh, we're up in a dark cave up there, lonely. You know, we're really not good people, people, you know? We're not, we shouldn't even be around in public. We're disgusting people. We're kind of part art curator and part uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Really good. Well, 35 millimeter, it's like there's more, there's kind of like a little bit of character to it. And uh, it goes through a photochemical process, it's duped, um, and uh, has a little bit more life to it. Um, it's akin to like, you know, you have some people that are love records and love the feel of the sound of the, of the vinyl and kind of the more depth to it. The, that, the sound and also the picture quality, ha there's more there um, compared to like where a digital or a CD has only, uh, there's only a certain layer of it. There's only, there's not, it's not much depth to it. The Library of Congress, they don't even um, record things in digital form for movies. They capture it in film because film is still, um, even though it's, it has a chance of it degrading over time, it still holds more information than any digital format. Don't get me wrong, digital looks great, like with cartoons and whatnot, because the colors are so vibrant and popping right there, but you lose that depth that you get with 35 millimeter film. It looks more alive on screen and not flat and dead. Uh, film has not changed since, since the 40s, since we came up with like safety film, which uh, before the film used to like, uh, would burn up and explode. Um, nitrate, uh, safety film, it really hasn't changed. It's still 24 frames per second. Uh, a lamp shines through the projector, goes through a lens onto the big screen. Um, so that quality, that image, it's still even better than a lot of the digital. Now, now to that effect, uh, now that we got these digital projectors, they're not as good as the quality as those film projectors. And those digital projectors, they'll be outdated in two years' time. Uh, we already have a lot of theaters out there that are, digital theaters are already outdated. The projectors are way outdated. They have to buy new projectors. So you're constantly in this, pro this game of catching up. Where film, you, you're still way ahead of the, the look, the quality. You're still way ahead of digital. 
but uh, and you don't have to you don't have to pay any more money. We make all our money through the snack bar. You know, the box office goes back to the studios. We make money through the snack bar. But the only reason people come to see the movies is to see the movies. So that's where the main focus should be. But of course, all the focus is on the stand and the numbers and how we're making a profit. You know. With some of the digital projectors, they're trying to just kind of get rid of um, the projectionists. And, uh, and uh, you really can't, it's, it's, you have to have that art. If not, it'll just, it'll, it'll lessen the movie making. Uh, you'll take the pride out of it. And I know that's a little something, but we are kind of a dying breed. We're kind of like the, we're the milkman, you know. You, you don't, you don't get, you don't, you don't get milk anymore, you know, at, at the door. You know, it's, you know, it's gone. So, you know, we're uh, we're a dying profession, but uh, there we're still we're just going to change titles. We're going to be a tech, um, and but what companies want is they want to get rid of that and just make it as automated as possible. Makes sense, but at that point, what the fuck? I can just watch it on DVD at home. How many people did it take to run the booth when you had a completely automated system? We had three guys up here full time. Three? Yeah. So how many people do you have up in the booth now that you have 18 35s? I got seven of those, including myself. Seven people? Yeah. You need to have those events. You need to have those event theaters. You need to have those places where you can take your babe out at night, take her out for a date. You need to have those events where you take your, your child out and for that, that one special, you know, big epic movie. You know, seeing Star Wars on the big screen, that's what like got me as a little kid. Seeing Return of the Jedi, you know, like first night, you know, on the big screen, that's, that's more than watching it, you know, stuck in a DVD at home.